This series of Uber Jeep AZ brought to you by Mama Forever Body Odor. That's right. Smell like your mama forever. One sip before your trip and you'll be stinking while you're drinking. Don't forget, we've got sizes such as Big Mama and Little Mama for the stanky mama in you. This is for all you do, you rotten motherfuckers. Please tip your driver on the way out. Okay, I just started driving and I'm seeing all of these trips on here. Let's do this 8.8 .8 or 8.48. It's $19. Look at that shit. Nope, nope. $29 to go way out in BFE. No, I'm gonna see if they match me with that right there. I've been driving for about an hour so far, but it's funny because everybody I'm on 3.8 miles away for 1.6. All right, for 8.48, let's go do it. Let's go get these motherfuckers. Yeah, but I've been driving tonight, and it's funny because the first lady I picked up was from St. Louis. She was from like Del Mar Loop. That's her 1111. Like the first trip got canceled. Don't know who that was. The second trip, she was from St. Louis. 1111, my lucky numbers. So we got to chatting about St. Louis and everything. Next trip, these people were from Arizona. So we talked about Arizona, laughing, cracking up and everything. It was pretty cool. The people I just dropped off from Vegas, and I picked them up downtown. It was $15 for 6.9 miles. And I was downtown when I picked them up because I dropped the Arizona people off downtown. So St. Louis, Arizona, and Vegas, three cities I lived in, and each person was from one of those cities. Fucking crazy energy out here tonight, man. But like I said, it's going to be a good Friday night. I can feel it. I could just feel it. And now I'm headed to go pick these people up for 848. This is how much I've made so far. 35 bucks. And I've been online for about an hour, five minutes. But it's still, like I said, as soon as I got in the car, it was like, bam, 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 bam. As soon as I got in the car. Like, no no glitch to it. It was, like, taking off. And I was like, shit, I didn't get a chance to record. What the hell? But, yeah, it's like, like I said, the energy is good. 11-11 was my very first ride. And it's funny because on Lyft the other night, 11-11 was my very last ride. And so it's crazy how energy works. You know, my first ride on Uber, 11-11, lady from St. Louis. So we talking about U City to Del Mar Loop. We talking about, you know, Berkeley and Wellston because she lived in Wellston for a long time, little small ass city in St. Louis. So, you know, we was chopping it up. Dropped her off right around the corner from her with some kids going down to Lucky Club or the Lucky Strike or whatever club, Lucky's and shit downtown. They were from Arizona. Talked to them the whole time about Arizona laughing, cracking up. They were asking me, they said, hey, man, give us some good good lines to pick up women with. So I was telling them we was fucking cracking up. So I'm telling them, man, you know what? When you pick up a girl, ask her where she want to eat at. And right when she say, okay, cool, let me see if I can find a Groupon so I can take you to go eat dinner. And they were dying laughing. It was like, dude, nobody even uses Groupons no more. I was like, I know it. That shit going to make her laugh because you're going to be like, I'm going to look for a fucking Groupon. I'm going to take you to get you some sushi or some shit. Let me find a Groupon so I can take you out. I said, you're going to have her cracking up laughing. And she going to think you fucking funny. And that's why she going to date you because you funny. And they were just, man, we had a fucking blast. Just driving them to the club, we were dying laughing. All the different, one dude was like, dude. We are talking about some, instead of asking people for their IG and Snapchat, ask them, hey, man, what's your Hotmail? What's your AOL.com address? We was cracked, man. We were talking about all old school shit, dying laughing. We were in tears by the time they got out. But dropped them off downtown, went down the street, picked up the Vegas people, and we talked about Vegas the whole time. We talked about, you know, sports and everything else. It was pretty cool. And he went to NAU up in Flagstaff. So now he lives in Vegas. Him and his wife live in Vegas. We were all chatting about just life and, you know, snowboarding and all that shit. It's going to be a pretty good Friday. I think it's a pretty energetic, very good Friday. Time to get out there, make some good money. $35 in the first hour. And they were shit trips. They weren't even like nothing amazing. There's no tips even added yet. There was nothing like crazy amazing. Like, oh my God, these trips are crazy. But it was like, they're paying pretty well. It was a game downtown. And so like that big $15 trip, they, they went to the game. So that's what I got paid picking them up. I was like a mile, not even a mile away, half a mile away. So it was about seven and a half miles for $15, about $2 a mile, 275 surge. So I went I went 6.9 miles with a 275 surge and Uber gave me $15 for it, which ain't bad. It didn't need a huge surge. It was a game ending and I know it was a lot of traffic though. That's one thing. So Uber is not showing surge areas because there was no surge down there. I was just driving and they gave me a surge just because of where I was. So it's not like I could have went and found the surge. Like, oh shit, let me go get this surge. There was no surge. It was just blank down there. I just drove around the corner. Somebody First somebody hit me up for a ride. It was like $28 for a long ass trip. I said, nope, not doing that. And then I saw that $15 trip. I took it. 
but there was no surge. Like I wasn't in the surge area. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Whatever Uber is doing, Lyft is lacking. Lyft is, is really on the shit list right now. And you know, maybe whoever works there, those executives and everything like that, they need to start making drivers feel comfortable with using that app. Because a lot of drivers are gonna leave that platform because we're not feeling too comfortable with a lot of shady shit we seeing going on right now. I mean, we already started seeing shady shit with the de deletion of Lux. And now all of a sudden we got you no know, no surging. We got weird motherfucking email addresses, you know, sending us money and shit. It's like, Lyft man, you motherfuckers need to contact some drivers. You need to start talking to people. Open up a line of communication to make us feel better. Because we're gonna start doing other fucking apps like Hum and Spark and motherfucking Uber Eats and all this shit. We doing everything else because we still gotta pay bills. We still got shit we need to pay for. So we gonna hammer down on the apps that we trust. And if we don't trust you, we might just turn your shit off and not get used to using you. Especially when you telling us, yeah, we're going to have a price war with Uber so we can pay drivers less. Drivers are like, motherfucker, you don't pay us enough already. So if you're talking about having a price war with our money, a price war with our fucking money, not with rider money, with our money, basically, because you're still going to charge those motherfuckers surge pricing, and I guarantee we don't get surge fares. So don't give us no shit about it. We're going to do away with surge pricing. Bullshit. Because if Uber's charging $35, you're going to charge $35. you are not going to be like, hey, $15 for that ride if you use us. Because the driver is not going to accept seven fucking dollars in the middle of a big-ass event when the driver can go get, you know, $25. Why is he going to take seven when he can get 25 fucking with Uber? So you fucking with driver's money, not rider money. Crazy. I just dropped them off. Now I'm a half mile away from Tau, Taos, whatever. And so this is a, like almost a $7 trip. So it's a half mile to them with a half mile trip. I don't think they're putting surge on these trips. I think they're just making these trips cost that much. Because they're these trips should be like $3. They're like one mile trips. I don't know why I'm getting like $7 for this trip. There's no boost involved. I think Uber found out what Lyft was doing and said, we're going to jack up the fucking price to drive Lyft into the fucking ground. We're going to take all the Lyft drivers away and make them Uber drivers. I have I turned Lyft on earlier tonight. I put them on Lux because I already hit my bonus. And I said, I'm going to do Lux with Lyft all night. I didn't get any pings on Lyft because as soon as I turned on Lyft, I had it on Lux and I was driving. I turned it on Lyft and that's when I got my first ping at $3.67 cancel. I got that cancel. And then right after that, I got Dorothy. Then right after that, I got Nick, those guys that took downtown. And then after that, I got John, and I just took, you know, Leopold. So I, I remember all my people's names, man, because like I said, we have conversations, and I remember names and faces and cities and places, and I remember shit like that. And I think that's what makes me a, a different driver than motherfuckers just say, get in, get out. I mean, I remember motherfuckers when I'm just picking people up, like Vanna. I picked up Vanna the other night for two, like twice, by the airport, I, I mean, by the uh, highway. I dropped her off, went back and picked her up, like crazy shit. I remember people's name because we have conversation. I remember people's names because we talk, we chat about life and jobs and dogs and cats. Like Leopold, we just talked about cats. He grew up, he had a black cat named Panther and another black cat named Midnight. I had Onyx. So we talk about shit like that. And I remember people's names, but I also remember their lives. And that's why I think I relate so well to people. And what pisses me off is I know these people be tipping me because we have such great energy, but I don't see no tips on the fucking app, especially Lyft. And that kind of irritates me, but fuck it, I'm still going to make my money somehow. If I don't like the fare, I ain't fucking with the trip. But I think Uber is going to try to drive Lyft into the fucking ground. I just got that feeling. Lyft may go out of business. I just got that feeling. Uber is going to fucking crush them because of the shit they're pulling with drivers right now. Okay, I just dropped off town, and now I'm headed to nowhere. Because that was my last trip right there. Cool, what do I got? That was a, uh, you know, seven, wait a minute. That was supposed to be a half mile. I just thought about that. That was supposed to be a half, it was like one point something. All oh, these motherfuckers got me. It was like a half mile too, then it was one point. I thought it was like $7 for a mile. Those motherfuckers got me. 20 bucks for that shit, hell no. $20 for 37 miles, nope. $20 for 37 miles is not what I'm doing. I oh, was talking motorcycles because these kids shot by on the motorcycles. So I was saying, this is how long I've been riding for. So they was like, damn, you've been riding for a minute. Yep. Oh, shit, 16. Oh, that was the 11-11. That was St. Louis, lady. St. Louis, Miss Dorothy gave me five bucks. Thank you, Miss Dorothy. I appreciate that. One tip for the night. Like, what Robert Reese say? Tip alert. Motherfucker be cracking me up with that shit. <laughs> I've been online for what? 
an hour and 45 minutes damn near cool cool 15 minutes in 15 minutes if i can make another 20 fucking dollars i'll be good i could have took that that nature hike but i'm like no fuck that you're not gonna have me going 37 miles 37 miles for goddamn 20 dollars that's almost 50 cent a mile right there i'm not doing that but i'm always back over here by asu which is cool because i've been downtown picked up downtown came back here everything is amazing now so we're about to figure out what exactly oh they got surge way down there down south yeah i'm not messing with that so i'm right here back by tempe let's see if we can make this money over by these kids because you know they all going out to the clubs you know they they all it's friday night it's friday night these kids finna kick it they are all back in arizona they've been in their cities all summer all back together all trying to get girlfriends and boyfriends before the school year start 399 for that shit no i already passed that already damn it i just shot past it they gave it to me too late man i was just passing that driveway and i'm not fucking u-turning for that shit nope nope i don't u-turn for four bucks for four bucks you turn you burn god damn it you turn you burn because then i'd have to go down because the monorail system is in my way right here that's why i can't do a u-turn i have to go all the way down the mill to go all the way back they got the light rail system sitting next to me on washington so when people say well, why don't you just u-turn real quick well, you don't understand. I'm sitting. That's why I need to have a camera on my car to show y'all where I'll be while on U-turn. I'd have to come all the way down here just to turn. Look at that. What was that? 24 miles or 23 miles for $13. All the way up north. 23 miles for $13. No, I'm cool on that shit. Uber is now starting to be some, doing some dumb shit. They was jamming a minute ago. And I thought they was giving me a good ride. I thought that ride was a half mile for like 1.5 miles or one mile or some shit like that that motherfucker was 7.6 not 1.6 i need my motherfucking glasses on god damn it i was like oh shit seven seven bucks for this i was like i'll take it but the lady had to get to work any fucking way so it was good that i picked her up she was on her way to fucking work otherwise she'd have been sitting there looking you know stuck waiting on a fucking uber so my bad for, for seeing the wrong number, but it was her good. She actually benefited off that shit. Because if I would have saw half mile for 7.6, I'd have been like, eight miles for $7? Hell no. That's what I would have said. But I was like, damn, a half mile for like a one mile or something like that? Let's do it. I didn't look at the screen close enough. And that's one mile for six miles. I mean, 562 for like six miles. Almost seven fucking miles. Now nah, I'm cool on that shit. I'm looking now, motherfucker. I'm looking now. No, we're not going to do that. You got me once, Uber. You motherfuckers got me. Don't pull that funny shit again. Let's see what the reservations are talking about. $12 for five miles at 2.55 in the morning. North 2nd Street. That's downtown. Come to the airport. Oh, I probably won't even be downtown. No, let's not do that shit. Because that's at 2.55. I'm not doing that. I'll do something that's like maybe after 3 o'clock, like 3.30, 3.15, because that's how I fucked myself last time. I took a trip. I took a reservation that was too close to like 2.30. What was that? Six miles for 7.83? No, I'm cool on that shit. That's almost seven miles. 1.7 miles away for almost a five-mile trip for 7.83. No, I'm cool. Somebody else needs to take that. But I set that reservation way too close to the end of club traffic, and I missed all that surge because they locked my phone down and I couldn't go get no surge to get rides and shit. So I learned my lesson. If it's before 3, 3.30 on a Friday or a Saturday, do not set that reservation, especially if you live near a club area. Do not set that reservation because you're going to fuck yourself out of a lot of good money because they're going to lock your phone down and you're going to be sitting on top of $6, $7. And you got to wait 30, 40 minutes if you do get the surge because I heard you can use that surge, but you're going to wait 30 fucking minutes just to use it so you're sitting around for 30 minutes because you got $7 in your phone. $7 every 30 minutes is $14 an hour. So me sitting on a $7 surge for 30 minutes is not going to benefit me unless I really want to use that shit like ASAP. And when you got club traffic jumping everywhere, you want to use that shit ASAP. $5.50 surge at the airport. I bet it's a lot of motherfuckers over there hanging out. What do we got? Let's open this lot up. 11 to 15 cars, that's it not bad 11 to 15 cars ain't it they keep trying to throw that same 561 up and the sad thing is i'm on mill avenue right now so i should probably turn this shit off yeah let's turn this shit off let's do that i'm not gonna be on mill avenue picking people up because that's what these motherfuckers be taking too long they don't walk out of the bars and shit like that so i'm like nope 
Let's turn on Lift Lux. We'll put Lux on. If they want to do something to make, make oh, I got some I got some surges going on. Bam. Let's hurry up put it on regular Lift then. If we got $4 surges, let's get this money. Hold up for a second. $3.50. That shit was at 4 bucks. Oh, there it is. 4 bucks. But, again, traffic is moving like one mile an hour. Are you serious? With a $3.50 surge, they want $12 for a, like a 10 and a half mile trip. No. $12. No. No. I'm looking for something way shorter than that. If you're going to give me a $3.50 surge, give me like a two mile trip for like $6. Look at that. 12 miles. Go up to the talking stick. 12 miles. No. Hell no. 12 miles for $12.20 going up to the talking stick. Nope. And that's with the three dollar fifty cent surge on there. This is the shit. They ain't no fucking surge. That's regular pay. That's a dollar a mile is regular pay to me. That's regular pay. Give me something that's like three miles, like uh, maybe uh four hundred feet from me right now. And they need to go two miles down the road, and you're gonna give me six dollars for it. I'll do that shit. Yeah, Lip ain't gonna send me shit right now because they know what I'm doing. They looking for a goddamn nature hike. They just tried to send my ass way the fuck up. And I was like, nope, not happening. And I they're like, well, we ain't going to send you no ride then, goddammit. If you ain't going to take no long ride, we ain't sending you shit, Jeffy. Yeah, but it's down here on Mill anyway. So I got the surge. Let's see how long the surge stretches. Oh, it's pretty far. So I got some, I got some working room. So I can go south or I can go east. No matter what I do, I'm going to be able to sit in some surge. Damn, downtown is pretty popping too. Lift has got some shit going tonight. Look at that. Lyft is blowing the fuck up. Uber ain't got shit going right now. Lyft is blowing up and Uber ain't got no surge out at all. But as you see, I'm sitting in traffic. The whole time I've been talking to you, I've been on brakes. I ain't going, damn, that shit blew the fuck up. Look at that shit. Damn, 575, 450. Where that shit? That's all downtown Phoenix. Yup. Man, 575, 525, 450. Yeah, I'm getting the fuck from down here. I'm out of this motherfucker. Let's do something real quick. Let's go back to Lux. Because these motherfuckers ain't doing nothing anyways. Let's go to Lux. <clears throat> that way my phone is locked up. And then they're going to send me no fucking shit ride. Because right now I'm not trying to be down here. Fifth Street. Man, can I get the fuck off this street? Because it's like, man, look at that. $7, seven minutes away. Nah, I'm cool. You know what? I'm, gonna fuck it. I'm about to make a cut right here. Yeah. You guys are cool. Yeah, I'm cutting right through here. Because I'm not sitting in all this fucking traffic. Yep. Cool cruise right through all them fucking cars. Ha <laughs> ha. And these people walking in the center of the fucking street and shit. These idiotic motherfuckers. I should show y'all this shit on camera. These motherfuckers are literally just walking through the streets. That's why I gotta get the fuck off a of mill. I gotta get out of this place. These people have no idea about fucking traffic laws or ordinances or whatever the fuck's going on. They just like aimlessly walking around like goddamn zombies and shit. Dead serious. I'm getting the fuck off mill. Yeah, let's go. All right, let's let these cops pass by. You motherfuckers are cool. They only little mountain bikes and shit. Like they going hiking. We're going hiking on our cop mountain bikes. Yeah, let's go hiking, Billy. Motherfucking ass. Yep, there's another six dollars. Zero. Nope. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Let's see something. Let's open that up and see what they're talking about. Look at that. Six fifty for that shit. Six and a half. No, nah, I'm cool. I got a four fifty bonus. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna use this fucking bonus somewhere else, not down here. Fuck that. I'm out of that place. Like I said, that shit was bumper to bumper traffic. I was on brakes pretty much the whole time. So what I did is I stuck between all the cars down the side of the road. Just kind of squeezing through. That's why I like this small ass car. My Jeep, the wheels are too wide. I don't be able to fit through that shit. But I kind of snuck this through all the fucking cars. Got up to Fifth Street, made a quick right. I'm going down Fifth Street. I got the fuck up out of there. I'm not dealing with that shit. Okay, I was trying to get out of that place and I had it locked on Lux. But as you can see, they threw me a ride. It's nine minutes away. So it's nine minutes away. I think it's three well six miles for a three mile ride or something weird like that it won't show what it is so it's about three miles for a six mile ride and i think it's like 20 bucks because it's got that surge on it so it's about two dollars a mile this lux is about two bucks a mile like i said i do better on uber x than that shit 
Because if I would have got a good ride down there and meal, I could have got six bucks for like, you know, two miles, seven, eight bucks for two miles. I could have jammed with that shit on regular Lyft or Uber X. But the fact that they got me on Lyft, I thought I was going to be able to get further away. They locked my shit in. So now I'm driving to go pick up somebody from work right now, clearly. So hopefully the motherfucker's not covered in dirt and dust. Because I've done that shit before. I've shown up to pick up somebody from work in these warehouses and shit like that. Motherfucker covered in dust. So I tell him right off the bat. Listen, I don't have enough materials in my car to clean that shit. So I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to cancel the ride. You're just way too dusty. And this car is way too fucking clean. And the motherfucker understood it. Because they was doing construction and shit. Motherfucker, shoes had all this fucking clumps of goddamn dirt all over it. Clothes was dusty as a motherfucker. And it's like... You're not supposed to be in a Beamer right now. You should be like in a motherfucking, like a, a Chevy Corsica or some shit. I don't fucking know. But not a goddamn BMW. Don't pick up a motherfucker just fresh off the goddamn construction site, covered in fucking dust, dirt clogs on your fucking shoes. Your goddamn hard hat is covered in asphalt and shit. And you're going to jump in the back of a clean ass motherfucking BMW? No, not this one. Not this one. I'm cool on that shit. Not this one. And I know Lyft is like, well, you're ride share. Motherfucker, I'm not dirt share. I'm not sharing a motherfucker's dirt with him. This is ride share. I got other people to pick up. I got shit to do. I want to fucking have to vacuum out my fucking car for the next 10 minutes, wipe the fucking seats down, clean the windows, get the smell of asphalt and oil and shit out of my fucking car, all for like $8? Fuck that. No. And so I decline shit like that. Because I don't think that shit's fucking cool. That shit's not cool. I don't do that. I do different type of rides. I do the clean rides. I try to do the clean rides. Every once in a while, you get a funky motherfucker, a dusty motherfucker. I see you, motherfucker. And you like, damn, man. Shit. Hopefully, they fucking tip me because I'm going to have to pull this bitch over at Circle K and clean this motherfucker out. And sometimes they tip me. Sometimes they're inconsiderate motherfuckers. They know they funky and dirty, and they don't tip me knowing I got to clean up after they motherfucking ass like I'm housekeeping. Fucking housekeeping. Goddamn ride chair keeping. What the fuck? It's like, I gotta clean up after your dirty ass. And the motherfuckers leave a tip for housekeeping. They'll fucking go to a hotel, leave a $5 tip on the table for housekeeping. But they don't leave no fucking tip for ride share keeping. They get their dusty motherfucking ass grass all on their fucking shoes. Fucking oatmeal all on their motherfucking hands and shit. Jumping out the fucking car. It's like, can, can goddamn ride share keeping get some money? But it's like, no. That's not what they want to do. They want to sit up there and act like this is our motherfucking job to clean up after them. Like, motherfucker, I summoned the ride. Yeah. And you checked into a hotel, but you still pay fucking housekeeping a tip. I know I tip housekeeping. Every day, if I stay in a hotel, you can ask any fucking body. I'll leave 5 or $10 on a fucking table with a note because they leave you the little sticky pad. Some of the pads ain't sticky, but you get an ink pen and a notepad. Just write tip for housekeeping on it. And just sit it there. And they'll give you the freshest fucking towels. They'll give you extra fucking soap. They'll give you, you know, the softest toilet paper. They will figure shit out. Because housekeeping loves to be viewed as human and being appreciated. Just like ride share drivers. We love to be viewed as being human and appreciated. Because we ain't no motherfucking robots. We're human. $5 makes a big difference. $10 makes a better difference. $20 makes my motherfucking day. You tip me 20 fucking dollars. Woo! Back in the game, baby. Like on Dave Chappelle. Back in the game, baby. Back in the game, baby. Woo! Motherfucking ass. This motherfucker said, damn, he's like, I'm gonna have the fish. He says, well, well, you black and I thought you at least want the chicken. No, nah, I'm gonna eat the fish. You better get that chicken, you black motherfucker. You better get that chicken. She was like, I'm sorry, Dave, but we're all out of fish. I guess I'll have the chicken. Ooh, back in the game, baby. Back in the game, baby. <laughs> Don't you gotta eat that chicken, you black motherfucker. <laughs> but no, nah, but like I said, I appreciate, you know, the, the human aspect of ride share. Just like I appreciate when I, when I deal with housekeeping. I leave money for them. Because they may be like, you know what? We don't get paid enough. We're cleaning up after all these people. We're picking up their wet towels. They're fucking making their bed, doing all this shit. Leave five dollars. It's cool. Leave ten dollars. It's cool. It ain't gonna hurt their fucking feelings for you to leave five dollars. You're not looking down on them. You're appreciating them. Motherfuckers think a tip means, oh, I got more money than you, so I should tip you. No, a tip is a show of appreciation. That's all it is. It ain't, well, I look down on you. You look poor and destitute, motherfucker. I need to leave you some money. No. It's like, I appreciate the service that you did, the conversation, the clean ass fucking vehicle you got. I appreciate the fact that your wheels and shit is detailed. Your windows are clean. I appreciate you, dog. Here's five bucks. 
And that's how I am, you know, in my real life. I share energy with motherfuckers like that. Here's five bucks. Here's ten bucks. If only got a couple of bucks on me, I'll drop a dollar forty-five in the change bucket at Starbucks. Here's a dollar forty-five. That's all I got on me right now. And it's like you just go through your day and you enjoy that shit. But like I said, it ride shares the same fucking way. You can show appreciation for motherfuckers without having to look down on motherfuckers. Like you're destitute. You need my fucking two dollars. We don't really need it, but man, it's, it's fucking appreciative to just be like, hey, here's five dollars. Here's five fucking dollars. And let me go down and pick this motherfucker up just dropped off roosevelt dude is fucking comedy chicago dude man 52 years old brother cool ass brother motherfucker had a do-rag and shit on came walking about the building so this motherfucker we see and he had to stop because he was like yeah you get the stop on there so it was like 24 dollars was the trip wasn't too bad 24 dollars and you know it, it was like what 10 miles 10 miles 23 minutes 24 dollars wasn't too fucking bad we had to stop at the uh, store or whatever so he was like yeah, man, so we talking about drinking and shit like that because he's like, yeah, man, I can't fuck with that malt liquor, man. I don't fuck with shit. You know, I drink vodka every once in a while, you know what I'm saying? We was talking about the shit we drank back in the day, and he was like, yeah, man, I used to fuck with this lady. She used to drink Arizona tea mixed with ENJ brandy. ENJ and Arizona tea? I said, that shit's like gasoline, man. He started rolling like, he's like, man, that motherfucker should have your gums bleed. <laughs> I was bro. I said, dude, you a fucking clown for that shit. I'm telling you, man, said, that shit's like acid in your mouth. He said, but she used to love that shit, drinking that shit all the time. I was like, dude, who the fuck mixes Arizona iced tea and ENJ brandy? That shit'll fucking kill you, man. That shit's like kerosene. I was like, I said, I used to mix that shit with Sunny Delight. I used to get some orange juice, mango, Sunny Delight, and kind of mix a little bit of ENJ in there to give it a little tang to it. And I drink that shit when I'm like at the pool or whatever this and that. That's the only time I would drink it. Sunny D and E and J. But man, I could not imagine them mixing that shit with no motherfucking tea. The tea wouldn't be enough. Because you have to kill that. That E and J is a, it's, it's death. E and J is fucking death. And he was like, man, I don't drink my licking. He looked, dude, 52 looked younger than me. And I was like, dude, I'm 50. He was like, man, you don't look 50. I was like, shit, you don't even look 52, man. He was like, because I don't drink malt liquor. He says, malt liquor will fuck you up. That's why everybody drinking beer, everybody drinking malt liquor and shit like that. They look old as a motherfucker, man. They walking around looking like lizards and shit, skin falling off their face. He said, there's chemicals in that shit that'll peel the skin off your fucking body. Boy, he had me dying laughing. It was like, bitches' gums be bleeding and shit. <laughs> that dude, Chicago brother, man. I was like, see, people from Chicago are funny as shit. Funny as shit. They will rag on your ass and fucking have so, man, dude was straight talking shit. I was in here dying laughing. He was cool as a motherfucker, though. He was like, man, you need something to drink? You good? I was like, no, I got my juice, man. I'm cool. He was like, all right, bitch, I'm going to go in here and grab me some vodka real quick and get to the house. And he was in there talking about the fucking malt liquor and shit. He said, like, don't drink that shit. That should have your motherfucking gums bleeding. <laughs> These people are crazy, man. But yeah, $15 was that. Oh, hell, look at that shit. $15.96. About three and a half miles to get to them for a 25 mile, for a 20 mile ride. And they're paying you 15, 16 dollars basically. 16 dollars for 24 miles. It's not my ride type because I got it locked on Lux right now. But I'm going to cruise back up here near downtown, see if I can grab another ride. I don't know why Lyft gave me that ride though. Maybe they gave me that ride because they saw me heading downtown to that fucking surge. And they was like, dude, give his ass a fucking ride before he gets downtown. Now the challenge this week is this weekend rather 60 rides 60 rides will get you 105 dollars then you do another 30 and they give you an extra 140 so you can make 245 dollars this weekend if you do 90 fucking rides 90 rides that's almost 30 rides a day 30 rides on friday 30 rides on saturday and 30 rides on sunday and you'll get 200 but see the thing is that's 245 dollars if you got to do fucking 30 fucking rides, all they got to do is throttle you down to like 25 rides one day, 25 dot rides the next day, you at 50. The next day, you've got to make 40 fucking rides in a day for your last day. It's impossible for me because I don't drive like that. I don't drive that many hours. So I see a 90 mile fucking quest. I'm like, you out your fucking mind, nope. Not even that 60 mile quest is enough for me. 60 for 60 rides to get 105, that's not even $2 a ride. If it was 60 for like 140, I'd do it. Because it's at least $2 a ride. They could do 60 for 140 and then they do 30 for 105. If they switch that shit, I'd do it. 
but I'm not gonna sit up there and get 60 for 105 and then not make the 140 because they throttle my ass down and I end up short by like fucking six or seven rides at the end of it. Cause ain't no fucking way I'm doing 30 rides a day, 30, 30, 30 in the time frame that I drive in. That's a, that's not a challenge for me. That's a challenge for a motherfucker that's like high AR, taking a whole bunch of shit, driving 12 hours, and they do that shit to lock your phone up because they know to do 30 rides, 30 rides, and 30 rides, you won't be doing no fucking Uber. You're going to be locked in a lift the whole time. You ain't doing Uber. So that right there challenge is how do we keep drivers off of Uber? Throw a fucking high ride challenge. Don't throw no challenge out there that's going to get everybody paid. No, throw a really high ride challenge out. So that was my 24, and that's 55. So I'm like almost 80 bucks right now. So let's see. So I drove on Uber for about, about an hour 43. I was online with them scouting ride. I don't know how long my rides were. And then over here, it's that $24. So I got about, you know, 80 bucks. Close about $80. Excuse me, about 80 bucks so far. Now I got a $2 ride right now. Let's see if we can go down the street and pick a motherfucker up. Let's go pick a motherfucker up. So I'm going to turn this shit on regular. What's going on here? Regular unleaded. That's these kind of fucking rides. Regular. Instead of Lux, I'm going to do regular. And see what they fucking get me. I hope they don't give me that $14. Because that's going to be like 20-something fucking miles. I can just feel it. A $14 lift ride is 20-something is fucking miles. That's what that shit is. Because I just feel it. I just know how Lyft operates. I've driven for these motherfuckers enough. There's no way they're going to give me a $14 ride and it be like six miles. Nope, nope. Because when I open up Uber... Oh, see? Hey, I knew they was going to try that shit. Come on, man. What the fuck are you doing? 462. Yeah. Nope. I missed it. I was going to try to accept that shit. Fuck it, I missed it. I didn't really want it, but I was thinking about it because I was like, well, it's two miles for like four bucks and it's going in the same direction I'm going right now. What the fuck is Lyft to Uber talking about? Uber's on some shit. All right, $19 for 12 miles, for 15 miles, $23 for 22 miles. Talking stick, talking... No, I'm cool on that shit. Both of those are a dollar a mile pretty much. The $19 one looks good, but I'm looking for something way shorter. $14 for like 11 miles. Nope. I'm looking for something shorter. All of these trips, like I said, a lot of people talk shit about trip radar. Like, I don't want those anyways. Let's go look at Lyft and see what they're talking about. Nope, that was $16. $8 for nine? Nah, no, cool. And that right there is like, what, 17, 18 miles for $14? Nope, doubt it. This is the garbage fucking shit right now. A lot of garbage shit about to come down the pipe. Yeah, Lyft can, Lyft can be off for a second. Let's see what Uber's got to offer me. 9.33. No, it ain't shit in there right now. Let's see what Lyft's got. I mean, Uber's got to offer. Man, this shit is all over the fucking place. 7.57 for that? Nope. Nope. 7.57 for like nine miles. Oh, that's going up to Scottsdale for 20 bucks. Nope. Because that's 14 miles for $20 going to Scottsdale. And you know it's midnight there. It's going to be worse than fucking Mill Avenue. So let's go back to Lyft real quick. Uh, let's go unlock this fucking bonus shit. I shouldn't even be driving Lyft right now. Dead serious, I shouldn't. Because I already did Lyft for the week. But they hooked me up with a cool ass fucking luck. So I'm thinking about doing it. 757 for nine miles. Nope. 757 for nine miles on Uber? Don't think so. You know what? Let's turn Uber off real quick. Let's turn Uber off. Let's go see what Lyft has got to offer. $16 for 21 miles. Ha! <laughs> yeah, okay. I was better off on fucking Uber. But I'm still headed downtown. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we got some short shit. $21 for like 28 miles almost. $21 or 28 miles. Don't think so, Lyft. Don't think so. You motherfuckers better start throwing me some Lux rides. Let's see. If they throw me one more shit ride, I'm going to switch it on Lux real quick. Just so they don't do that shit. $13 for 12, almost 13 miles. Nope. Let's go to Lux real quick. Let's see something. Because maybe Lux is better. 
And here's a gas station right here. Let's, oh, almost got that 850 for that. Nope, I'm not doing that either. The motherfuckers almost had me hit the button. Like, nope. I just said no, motherfucker. 987 for that? Nope. Let's go offline real quick. Because if I go offline, then I can actually operate. I could do something. Alright, so let's go back in here. Here, here. Because they don't they don't want to let me change my vehicles. They keep throwing shit on my fucking screen. So I had to go offline. Do all of this. Go back in. Let's set the fucking filter. Stay within an area. <clears throat> Five miles. Set filter. Ready to go. Let's go. Am I online? Yep, I'm online. Perfect. So that means I'm I got my filter locked in. Three dollar bonus. I'm on Lux right now. So they can't do shit but give me Lux rides within the five mile radius. Hopefully this shit works out. Because what I'm not about to do is do these goddamn 20 mile nature hikes for $19. They got me fucked up. Nope, nope, not doing it, not doing it. Like I said, I'm just trying to find somewhere to park real quick at this gas station at this little circle K at this crusty, dusty hub. Crusty Dusty Hubba Donuts. That's what they need to call that shit, the Hubba Donuts. <laughs> Circle K is now known as the Hubba Donuts, where you you get your Crusty Dusties for half price. The Hubba Donuts. That's what I'm gonna fucking do. I'm gonna fucking do a goddamn commercial about this motherfucker. Wait till I wait till I pass more crusty ass donuts. I'm doing a donut commercial. Fuck this. As much as I talk shit about these motherfuckers trying to charge us full price for these rotten ass donuts. I'm going to have to do a commercial about these motherfuckers. All right, they're not sending me a Lux. So let's dig back in real quick. Your vehicles. And let's go back to lift. Hopefully everything's within five miles. Let's see what we can get. What can we get? Because it was stupid ass traffic down there. I just don't want to do all that fucking traffic. So I'm trying to avoid that shit like the plague. Look, at, These are a lot of fucking lift rides. Look at that shit. $15. $8 for four miles. For five miles. Eight dollars for five miles. Nope, because it's taking me four miles north. I don't want to do that. It's taking me four miles north of the downtown. If anything's, if there's any trip under three miles, like the trip is under three miles, I'll take it. Because when you're taking me fucking four miles, what that means I got to come back to downtown. You're eating in my motherfucking shit. Look at that, eight dollars for that month. No, that's worse than the last one. What the fuck? I could have just took the last one and did better. That was 862 for like almost nine fucking miles. Man, look at all these trips blowing up, boy. They really trying to get motherfuckers down there. Eight dollars, six miles. Nope. Doubt it. In a minute, I'm just going to turn this motherfucker off and just not even worry about the shit because that's the point they about to get me to right now. What else you got, you crusty, dusty motherfuckers? Because I'm about to turn on Uber. If they don't give me something, I'm going to turn on Uber. And we'll see how this shit goes. All right, let's go in here real quick. Wait a minute. It says select the ride challenge until Sunday. 55 rides. So that's 85 rides for 240 bucks. 55, you get 100. 45, you get 70. 35, you get that. I can get 100 bucks for 55 rides. 100 bucks. That's a whole week of driving. 85 rides in four days is 20 rides a day just about. 20 rides a fucking day. Can I do 20 rides a day? Let's take that one. Yes, I like that. 583 for like two miles, almost three miles. Uh, where are we going? Yeah, let's go. But yeah, I'll, I'll look at those ride challenges again. Because I don't know, man. It's like 85 rides in four days is a lot. I don't mind doing about 60 rides in about four days. But 85 is pushing it. 85 rides in four days is some shit I'm not trying to fucking do. But like I said, I'm... I'll see what they're talking about as far as these challenges. I don't mind driving for good fucking money, but if it's shit money and they're going to be throttling motherfuckers, I might not mess with them. Like I said, I got lift last week for a challenge. They might be fucking with me this week, so I'll see. Okay, so I just did that real quick hop right there. It was right around the corner to some little bar. This one right here was pretty quick. I had to turn my app off because goddamn lift kept sending me. I mean, the dude just got in the car. He just got in. They were sending me back-to-back -back requests, requests, requests. None of them had surge on it. All of them were short, like, you know, five miles for five bucks, four miles for four bucks, three miles for three bucks, five miles for five bucks. Each thing was a dollar a fucking mile. It just kept hitting my phone over and over and over. And I was like, you motherfuckers need to relax. You can't just keep sending people requests like that, you know, back-to-back. Y'all got to fucking chill out, man. 
It's like, we're fucking driving. We're trying to get somewhere. We're trying to, you know, he just got in a fucking car. I'm trying to, well, it's like you walking into a restaurant. And as soon as you're trying to sit people down, the the person at the door is like, hey, we got another another uh, couple for you coming through the door. Let me sit these motherfuckers down. Dude just got in the fucking car. I'm like, hey, what's good, man? Oh, nothing, this and that. Motherfucker, as soon as he sat down, bling, 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 bling. Like, damn, okay. I don't want that ride. Bling, 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 bling. I'm like, okay. So I'm trying to analyze fucking rides while I'm trying to introduce this dude to my fucking car. Like, welcome to the car, motherfucker. Bling, 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 bling. God damn. So we in there fucking chatting, talking about fucking Vegas and shit. And I was like, yeah, but I lived there for a long time. He was like, man, Vegas is wild. I was like, yeah, man. I was like, I even lived on the strip for about nine months, man. I was like, I went through a divorce. I was living on the strip for like nine months in a hotel. It was fucking crazy. I was like, because there's a lot of hookers and shit. You know, they advertise all the time. So he was like, I bet that was wild. Like, man, I'm like, dude, you can't walk down the strip without seeing motherfucking naked lady flyers. All I mean, you got more naked lady flyers. You got Pokemon cards. It's kids picking those motherfuckers up, trading naked lady cards at the goddamn cafeteria table. They're like, motherfucker, I'll trade you two Sashas for a cinnamon and a, and a sundae. Okay, I'll trade you two gingers for a cupcake. And yeah, exactly. All these motherfucking strippers and shit, they giving out their cards on the strip and people throw that shit on the floor. And all these kids just picking these motherfuckers up, trading them like Pokemon cards. You get to school like, dude, who the fuck is that? Where'd you get a uh, cherry from? Oh, this is, she's a stripper. I found her card on the ground. Man, if you don't throw that shit in the trash can, they trade those motherfuckers like Pokemon cards. These kids be all giving those mother to each other. Like, fuck that, man. These ain't fucking Pokemon cards. These, and that's why kids in Vegas is desensitized to weird shit. Because they got to grow up around that shit. And I had two young sons. And I'm like, I can't raise y'all around this shit. This is weird shit, man. We getting the fuck up out of here. So I end up leaving Vegas. You know what I'm saying? I got my son and everything. And me and him with the St. Louis kickback. Because I couldn't raise him around that shit. St. Louis was no fucking better, honestly. <laughs> it was like, I should have just raised you around fucking cinnamon and ginger. Fuck this shit. These motherfuckers killing each other out here in St. Louis. Fuck, where's ginger at? I'd rather hang out with fucking ginger and cinnamon. Fuck that. This is motherfucking Tyrone and goddamn, you know, Killer Mike. I don't want to hang out with Killer Mike. Fuck that. Let's go hang out with ginger and cinnamon. Fuck these people. Come over here and relax for a second, and they sending me some crazy shit. $14 for like 18 miles driving from downtown. And like I said, there's no, no surge on Uber, and there's none on Lyft either. Like I said, I'm sitting, I'm still sitting downtown Phoenix after the last drop off. I had to wipe the car down. Take me a little break for a fucking second. Let's see what that $11 ride. Oh, they gonna tell me to fucking go online. Four four dollars for a four mile ride. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. It's fucking Friday night, man. These motherfuckers don't understand. We know what days of the weeks it is. We understand how fucking fares work out. They're charging people all this fucking money to do all of this shit, but not giving drivers a goddamn thing. Look at that. $11 for 17 miles. $11, 17 miles on Lyft, $10 for 10 miles on Uber. These motherfuckers are nuts. 10 for 10, 11 for 9. Like, what the fuck are y'all doing? I'm not driving that many miles. Not driving. I mean, I'll do 10, 10 for like 4 miles, maybe. Do $10 for like 4 miles. Even at $4 for 4 miles. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Look at that. I'm bouncing back and forth showing you motherfuckers how this shit's going. You know, 17 miles for $23. I'm just not interested in going that fucking far to make that much money. Because that means that's two, you know, eight mile trips. Each eight mile trip is $12. We can do a four mile trip for $12. Like I said, I'm just, and I'm glad Uber, uh, Lyft pulled me off because Lyft was sending some bullshit any fucking ways. And here's 14 for like eight or nine miles. That right there is like kind of far up. Let's see what they talking about. Seven for seven. I don't know. 14 for that. Nine miles. That's all the way down to Levine. That's far south. Heading down to Levine for $14. There's a lot of shit going on downtown right now, and these motherfuckers don't want to pay nobody. They're charging people a really good amount. There's a lot of people out right now, a lot. And they're not charging, like I said, this it's a dollar a mile ride on a Friday night where it's busy as shit down here. I know somebody probably paid $22, $28 for that ride. I already know that. Like I said, I don't even have to have the passenger app. I know how these motherfucking apps think. They did not charge no $13, $14 for that ride downtown Phoenix Friday night at 1230. These were all $23, $20 rides and shit. Look at that, 20 bucks for four, 15 miles. Nah, I'm cool. I mean, I'd rather just kick back and relax and not do shit. I got $55 here. I think I got like $30 over here. Yeah, so I got about $85 right now. Only been out for a couple hours. And so I ain't really did a whole lot of rides. I did two rides over here and I did about three over there. 
Look at that, five miles, five. This this is pretty good, 524 for that long is good. That's not actually a bad trip, really that's not. But the only reason why I'm not taking it, because I just don't fucking feel like it. Because everybody I'm picking up has three and four fucking people. And these motherfuckers are, like I said, Uber needs to, to charge more money for the wear and tear on our back seats and shit like that. They need to charge money for that. Because, I mean, they're giving people the option to spend all of this fucking money to do no trips. And it's like all these people are packing in these fucking cars and they're not going no fucking where. Look at that. 16 miles. $4 for, for three miles. $13 for eight miles. And these are all north. These are all going north. $13 for eight miles. $4 for that. No. Nah. Cool. You got $13 for eight miles or you got $13 for 12 miles. I mean, you could take your fucking pick. Which one you want to do? And what are these? $13 for eight, five for two miles. Nope, not doing that one. Because that right there is saying they're not going nowhere. So they fucked up and didn't put where they were going. And that's that's a scam right there. I like this right here, though. 678 for like two miles. Let's see if they give me that shit. Oh, yeah. 678 for two fucking miles. Let's go. I could do that shit all day. And that's the kind of shit I wait for. 678 for two miles is about $3.50 a mile. Close to $3.50 a mile. Because the rest of these dollar a mile fucking trips, I'm just not feeling that shit. Not on a fucking Friday night. Not on a Friday night. They could do better than that. And that's kind of like why I was glad Lyft kind of shut down and stayed down. Because Lyft wasn't doing shit. They really wasn't doing shit. Because they were trying to, earlier they were doing all right. They trying to throw me that Lux. And I thought, you know, tonight could be a Lux night. We could do some damage, have some fun and shit like that. But no. These motherfuckers on the same shit. Dollar a mile trip, less than a dollar a mile trip, crazy. No, we're not doing that. It's Friday night. I know what people are paying for these rides. I don't care that people are paying that much for these rides. I really don't care. If they pay that much for these rides, it's cool. It becomes what do I accept now? Not what people are paying, but what do I accept? Knowing what people are paying. Do I sell myself a dirt cheap? Knowing people don't look at this ride as a dirt cheap ride. Do I sell myself for dirt cheap knowing somebody paid $28 for a ride, but I'm going to get $8 out of it? No, I'm not doing it. It's too lopsided. It's way too lopsided of an equation. I'm not selling myself for dirt cheap just to make the app feel better. Jeff, here's a ride for you, man. We're going to give you eight, eight miles for $8. No, I'm not doing eight miles for $8. It's busy as shit down here. I know that person paid 28 bucks to get out of here. That person paid 23, 24, 28, and I'm getting seven and eight dollars. No, I'm not selling myself for cheap. I'll just kick back and relax for a while. Because instead of a dollar a mile, I could wait and I can get something that's $3.50 a mile, $2 a mile, $2.50 a mile, $4 a mile, $6 a mile. I don't gotta sell myself for a dollar a mile, knowing all of these people are requesting rides. I, if I can get $3.50 a, ride, a mile, just, just say $3 a mile, and somebody else is taking a dollar a mile. That means they gotta do three of those trips just to do my one trip. If I'm getting $3 for one mile, they're getting $1 for one mile, they've gotta drive three fucking miles to get what I just got in one mile. All my shit is one third of theirs. So if they make $1,000, I've made $3,000 because they're one third of me. And that's why I'm like, understand how fucking math works. If you drive 30,000, if you do $3 a mile and you drive 30,000 miles a year, that's $90,000. $90,000 and you only drove 30,000 miles, that's it. But if you want to make $90,000 at a hundred, at a dollar a mile, you've got to drive 90,000 miles. You see what I'm saying? Motherfuckers got to understand how these numbers work. Because once you understand how these numbers work, it makes sense to not take no shit rides. That was a quick trip for ten dollars and thirty cents and i was taking miss judy and her friend way up here it was it was not that far of a trip actually it was probably like what five miles maybe yep five miles told you it was about five miles because i can feel fucking five miles i know what five miles feels like this is a bunch of bullshit right here uh camelback is oh camelback is right there should i go try camelback because i know at this point little woody starts jumping right now Oh, where we at? Where we at? Let's do this trip. Let's do this trip. See who the fuck this is. Whoops. All right, so let me go south a little bit. Pick this motherfucker up, whoever this is. Oh, let me turn right here. 
Yeah, because I was just getting ready to fucking make a right and somebody left hit me up. So I'm like, God damn it. Then a car pulls up behind me while I'm kind of looking at my screen. So I'm like, it's too much going on. Get off my ass, you motherfucker. Little renegade. Get off my ass. So let me go down here and pick up Mary. I'll hit y'all back. That was a pretty quick trip. That was it, Miss Mary. You know, I picked her up, dropped her off. As you can see on the timestamp, she was right around the corner for that four bucks. All right, let me see something real quick. Let's see how much have we made. $77. What? We move in a day, so I've made over 100 bucks in a couple of hours, yeah. Scouting and screwing around. I got a $5 tip. The rest of these motherfuckers is cheap. No, I'm just kidding. I'm telling you, man, I think these apps is jacking me. I really fucking think these apps is jacking me. It is not this many people out not tipping. There is no way this many people don't tip. There's my 30, so I made 100 bucks so far for the day. 100 bucks. Because that 30 comes from, yeah, about an hour online. Cool. And then let me see what I do for the week. What did I do for the week? How many hours have I been driving? 11 hours, 4, 7, 8. So roughly about $40 an hour. I'm still at about $40, $45 an hour. So it's not bad. But yeah, I just don't think this many people just didn't tip. I don't fucking know, man. This shit don't make no sense to me. And I know we've got problems with the apps and we've got issues with, you know, payment systems and all that crazy shit. Let me turn Uber off because Uber's going to try to send me some crazy shit. I could just feel it. I'm up at 32% AR. What? What? Shit, I'm 32% AR. I'm about to be a diamond driver, motherfuckers. What's up? 32%? If I can make the 35%, I could be a Wakanda driver, motherfucker. Black Panther vibranium, motherfucker. Fuck y'all diamonds and y'all platinums. We get vibranium for 35%. Let's do it. Now, vibranium is more like 5% AR. Those motherfuckers are straight Wakanda fucking residents for life. <laughs> they fucking cherry pick the shit out of that app. You have five percent, you don't buy Branium, goddammit. You get a free Wakanda DVD with every fucking ride you do. You get a free Wakanda t-shirt. You get a motherfucking Wakanda pair of house shoes and shit. Walking through the house like, man, why you get all this Wakanda shit in the mail? Motherfucker, I'm five percent AR. Wakanda. <laughs> buy Branium. Fuck platinum and diamond, goddammit. We Wakanda in this motherfucker. I've been and doing crazy trips. That's why I haven't been able to report back to you motherfuckers. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got one tip out of six rides. This one right here. They were pretty cool. We were just chatting, talking about cars and everything like that. That was a good one. And then I had the Lux. The Lux hit and I was like, what? A Lux? Hold the fuck up. They threw me a Lux in the night. I appreciate that shit, Liv. But yeah, that's all I made so far. In about an hour 40, I made about 60 bucks. That's my weekly breakdown. I'm running at about 12 hours almost six hundred dollars in 12 hours imagine if i could do that shit in a real one 12 hour shift just me driving in one day for 12 hours pulling 600 bucks that's what it would look like but knowing these raggedy motherfuckers there's no way i would make 600 bucks in a straight 12 hour shift look at that 349 for that eh, i don't think i want to turn back around i'm already going this way already live sorry about that shit but yeah so that's what it would feel like if like, motherfuckers, listen to what I'm saying. If I drove a 12-hour straight, that's probably what it would look like, you know, if they gave me all the good rides like I've been getting. $600 in a 12-hour shift, which is technically one day. If you do $600 in a 12-hour shift, you do that shit for seven days, that's $4,200 in a week if all my 12-hour shifts could end up fucking like that. I'm not doing all these stupid-ass fucking trips they're talking about. But, like I said, I don't want motherfuckers to look at the video, did you do that in one shift? When I just fucking told you I didn't, I just told you it was a culmination of days, and if I did it in a 12-hour shift, that would be $600 in a 12-hour shift, if. But you got have listening motherfuckers in rideshare, I can't believe you did that in one day, you did that in one day? Motherfucker, did I say that? It was like, listen, listen, motherfuckers, listen. I see you, motherfucker. And that's why I'm always trying to repeat shit two and three fucking times in my video because motherfuckers don't listen and they miss the sentence. So I got to repeat the sentence three fucking times over a period of five minutes to make sure a motherfucker don't be like, I can't believe he did that. He made 600 bucks in like one day. Look, 12 hours. But how the fuck did he drive 19 hours in one day? Maybe because he really didn't do that shit in one day. Maybe he did it over the course of a few fucking days like he said. I'm kicking all this shit out. Fuck all this shit. These motherfuckers trying to send some old bunk bullshit fucking rides. I'm not taking none of these rides. Because ain't none of them got surge connected to it. None of them got surge connected to it. You know what we're going to do? We're going to turn this shit off. Because they're fucking with me. 
they they actually put my car in between two fucking surges and started sending me a ton of fucking rides. Fuck them. I don't play that game. If you're going to send me some rides, put some surge on that motherfucker. They always throw me in between two surges, then try to send me as many rides as they can. I don't fuck with y'all like that. I'll turn that shit off. I don't need no motherfucking surgeless rides when everybody else is getting fucking surged and I'm sitting right here. Find a driver in the surge. Don't give it to me. I don't want the motherfucker. Don't send it to me. Because I ain't got no surge on my shit and you clearly got surge sitting on the screen. So give it to a fucking driver who deserves that money. Now you see they want to fill up the gap. Look at them. They're trying to fill up the gap a little bit. Yeah, man. Give them some of the money. I guess give them. Man, fuck that. Too late now. Fuck all them rides. I'll turn this shit back on when I get close enough to get some surge. If I don't get no surge, fuck it. I just go over to UberX. Because I don't play games with these motherfuckers. I'll let them know. My car is for fair hire. Not just for hire, period. For fair hire. When you are fair with the rates and you're fair with what you're paying us, then my car is ready. There's drivers right now sitting in the surge looking for fucking rides. Give it to them. Don't find me because I'm the cheapest option you got. I am actually not the cheapest option you got. You just think I'm the fucking cheapest option you got. I'm a very expensive fucking option. I'm looking for $4 a mile, $8 a mile, $9 a mile. You have 50 cent high AR motherfuckers out there who are probably your better option of a driver. Because I'm not the cheapest option you got. So I just leave my shit turned off until I get to a surge area. I don't fuck with these people like that. They know how I drive. And I, I expect everybody to be that smart. To not say, oh shit, they get... No, if it's surge, you sitting on the surge that's two fucking blocks away, three blocks away. You deserve that surge like everybody else is getting it. Especially they sending you a fucking ride in that area. Look at this, 325 this and that. They're going to pull surge away. $6, 625 so I'm going to go down and get the $6 surge. Because Lyft ain't really throwing shit out there. This is what Lyft is throwing out there. Let me go in. Lyft is throwing out a bunch of bullshit. Like little Tic Tac shit like that. Like $1.50, this and that. So I'm going to go on the fucking Lux. Because since their surge is so low, I'd rather go on Lux. To make sure that they don't fuck with me when I go online. They fuck with other people. And so that'll give me some time to actually go down. Like I said, now they finally, you know, getting me into the bonus zone, the surge zone or whatever. So now, and I still got my fucking filter on. Fuck them. I'm not turning that filter off because I know how they play with people. So now I'm going to Uber real quick. See what they shit looking like. Mm, I don't know how far into this shit we're going to get. Don't quite know. I wish I had a way to fucking, you know, get, get the Uber surge like within a certain radius. So let's turn this shit on and see what they gonna give me. 325 next trip. And let's see what they talking about. A Lux for how much? $12 for that many miles? No, I'm not going that far north. Nope, I'm not going that fucking far north. Cause they know that shit. They trying to send me five miles outside of the surge. $26 for that? Nope, doubt it, not going that fucking far. 14 for that? Nope, not even doing that. Give me some three, four fucking miles and we'll talk. Three, four miles and we can talk about it. What are we talking about over here? Thirteen dollars for that many miles versus what we got on trip radar? Twenty-two for that? Nope, nope. I'm not doing no six fucking miles. My radius is on five miles. Nope, doubt it. My radius is set for five miles. That's what my radius is set for. $16. Nope, not doing that either. So I'm sitting down here with these surges now. Let me go down here real quick. Let's go back to here. See what they got over here. Let's move some shit around. What are we talking about? Nine bucks for that? Let's take that. Oops, ten bucks for that. Let's take that instead. Hey, hey, hey. Damn it. What did I just do? Oh, bikini lounge. Oh, then I got Victor. I already picked up Victor. Fuck it. Let's close this one down. Fuck it. And let's go through here and hit accept the trip by accident. Yeah. Ended up accepting two of them, so my bad. Fuck that shit. All right, so let's go pick up Victor real quick. And he should be right over here. Uh, let me see if I can turn out of this parking lot right here. All right, cool, cool. So sometimes you do that shit. You make us I'd rather do the... The lift one, because I think the lift one is closer. For one, it's closer. And for two, I think it's a shorter distance. And it's only for like almost $10.
but the Uber X was 1078. It was a mile and a half to get there with about maybe three miles, four miles of drive. So it's gonna be a, almost a $2 a mile trip. I think the Uber X was close to about maybe a $4 a mile trip, maybe. Out No, wait a minute, $2 a mile, two to two to three dollars a mile, maybe. I'd have to look back at the video to see, but that's my guess right now. It was a two to three dollar a mile trip where this one might be a little more per mile. So I went with this one instead. But we got the video, you guys saw the video, whatever I just had, you know, it happened so fucking fast, I didn't know what I was doing, but I know one was 1.3 with a real run eight, making it about five miles away, so about $2 a mile. This one was probably a little bit higher, so that's what I'm sticking with. This one was higher. That Lux ride, I'm headed to pick up another Lux ride. I'm like, they just throwing me Lux rides back to back, because like I said, I don't have Uber turned, I don't have Lyft turned on. I just got Lux turned on because I'm thinking, they don't throw me no Lux rides, I'll just throw on Lyft. They've been throwing me Lux rides like, this is, I think, the third one of the night. I don't get three in a week. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? It's like, what are they doing right now to throw me three Lux rides in one night when I don't get three in a whole fucking week? I think they're really scared of losing drivers right now, and they're doing anything in their power to keep us off of Uber. Yeah, they're talking about, you know, they're going to give us these crazy challenges, you know, 90 rides. We're going to give you 90 rides. We're going to pay you $245, 90 rides. Just drive with us. Don't drive with Uber. Drive with us. Okay, you want to be on Lux? Cool. Stay on Lux. This is what we're going to do. We're going to give you Lux rides. They don't do this shit to my account. So I'm sitting here like, there's some fuckery going on. Something's going on right now. For them to be throwing me this many Lux rides back to back, I've declined a couple of Lux today. That's how crazy it is. I've actually declined Lux rides. Like, no, I'm not going to do that one. And I'm like, why are they throwing me so many Lux rides? What is really going on right now? I don't know. I say give it give it about, you know, a week. Give it a week and let's see what's going to happen. I'll be driving all weekend. I made about $550 during the week. You know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Took Thursday off. We're going to see what I can do Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I don't quite know yet. I don't put shit out there in the universe i just do the best i can do hopefully i'll make money if i don't cool i'll just come back next week and do it i don't let this shit frustrate me because i know the apps are doing some shit drivers are doing shit high ar motherfuckers is doing shit i do not let this get to me i just go out and each ride is an individual transaction and i do my best to line a lot of individual transactions up that are good that's all i can do i can't preempt shit and be mad all the fucking time man they better send me lux rides all night or i'm not gonna ride i'll take lift rides I'll take Uber X rides. It don't make me a difference. It just has to be, the money has to be there. If the money's not there, I can't fuck with it. That's all I'm saying. I cannot fuck with it. Okay, that was a real quick lift trip right there. I was right in between that dollar bonus when I dropped them off. I hurry up and made a, a left turn and I hit the bonus real quick. Like I said, there was some cool brothers right there. There was some Vegas and shit like that. That was that Lux right there. You know what I'm saying? It was like almost five miles and they gave me like 12 bucks. It's cool. I'm still sitting on, I think, one tip for the night. That's it. Been on the road for two hours. Like I said, they throwing me Lux, man. They throwing me Lux. I like that shit. Let me go look and see what my... So 12 hours, 527. It's not bad. 12 hours, 527. It's not bad. But I think that number should be a little fucking higher if I'm doing Lux now. 12 hours, 22 minutes, 527. I don't know. I'm going to look at the video and see what it was at first. Because I swear I was already close to that shit. I was at like 507 or something weird like that. So that should have been extra $20, which is about right. Because if you got this 10 and that 12 and that, okay, that's about, excuse me, that's about right. Because that's that 10, that 11 and that. Yeah, because it was at like 507. All right, bet, bet. Then those next two rides will, will round it out to the 527. Hey, I keep them numbers in my fucking head, man. I'm making sure I check my shit as I drive. Because like, there's somebody in my comments just said that shit, that they were doing rides. They had to call Lyft to get their fucking money for a ride that they didn't get paid for. They did the ride and no fare showed up. They had to call just to get the money for the fare. I'm telling y'all, man, it's some shit going on. I don't even know, man. It's some shit going on. And a lot of people don't understand what we mean because they're not used, used to seeing the fuckery. And they're like, no, man, it's, it's legit. I trust these apps. They won't screw us over. They wouldn't take our money. They wouldn't do this and do that. Okay, you can trust these motherfuckers if you want to. It's like, but what you don't realize is they gonna fucking get you every fucking time. I'm going to sit here and take a break for a second. Woo, I got to get out this fucking car, man. Damn. Oh, thank you for the break. Holy shit. Need to stretch my fucking legs, my back. Man, 
Get the fuck out. Fucking break is over. I just opened up the Uber app, man. They got $14 fucking surges over there. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? I ain't on break, motherfucker. It's time to go get cake. Fuck the break. Get the cake. Fuck the break. Get the cake. That's a motherfucking t-shirt for your ass. Fuck the break. Get the cake. <laughs> That's the dumbest shit I probably ever said. Fuck the break. Get the cake. <laughs> oh, they trying to fucking get rid of the icing. They went down from 14 to 13. They getting rid of the icing on the cake. Fuck the break. Get the cake. Shit. Like I said, I'm way the fuck over here right now. So I got to shoot my ass to the west and then drop down a little bit. See if I can go get some of this motherfucking cake for my birthday. Go get some of this motherfucking birthday cake. I'm like, dude, it's, it's just money. That's all it is. I'm like, yeah, but it's birthday cake money. You don't get it, motherfucker. You don't get it. So how can I get there quickest? All right, I, got a, I got a freeway right in front of me. I can hit right here. I can drop down, hit the 10, shoot the 10 all the way over to either the 17, drop straight down to 17 and get that. Because like I said, it's not that far away. Because I can hit this button and show you how far. It's only five miles away. So I can do that shit. I can make, you know... $13 for five miles of driving. I could do that. $13 for five miles is cool. I just got to get my ass over there. But of course, I'm in a motherfucking red light because that's just how life works out. It's 2.30 in the morning, red lights all over the fucking place. There's people making U-turns and crazy shit through construction. I'm going to see if I can hit this highway. And if I can get there, man, this is going to be nice. But I knew I shouldn't have fucked with that Lux. That Lux took me north a little bit when I was downtown already. I was right there by the Phoenix signs. I could have just cut over and got the money, but no, no, I didn't do that. Instead, I took the Lux ride, which ain't bad. You know, it was a couple of cool ass brothers and shit like that. But still, uh oh, somebody's getting searched over there. The police are searching somebody. All right, here we go. We're gonna hit the highway. I gotta throw on my traction control. I gotta use traction control because my wheels is too fucking big and this motherfucker will fly with all this traction. Look at this shit. This fucking slow ass car in front of me. This motherfucker got on the highway like five minutes ago and I'm just catching his mom. I'm like, come on, dude. What the fuck? You got on the highway like five fucking minutes ago. How the fuck am I catching up with you? You gotta drive that shit. Motherfucker. Fuck the brake. Let's get the cake. Yeah, you can see they're starting to pull some of that surge away. That's cool. Because if I can get up here and drop straight down, what is that, Ninth Avenue? 19th Avenue. I can drop straight down 19th Ave and get it. Yeah, I know motherfuckers like, why you chasing Surge, man? Like, I know it. I shouldn't do that shit. But I ain't got shit else to do. I've made about $70 on Uber today and I've made $80 on fucking Lyft. So I'm at $150 and I ain't even been out that fucking long. It's just one of them nights, man. $77. Bucks. That's it. So $77 bucks on one, about $80 on the other one. So we're almost close to about $160, and it's only $230. So I can make another 40 bucks before I'm ending the night to make a $200 night. But what I really want to do is I could probably push the date. They, they were trying to send me reservations. Uber was trying to send me reservations, and I ignored all those motherfuckers. I was like, nope, y'all not setting me up. Fuck that shit. So I was like, nah, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So I ended up um, pushing that lift and went up north a little bit. So now here I am over by this surge, but all these slow motherfucking cars, like they riding around on their brakes and shit. It's like, come on, man, y'all motherfuckers gotta go. Like this big ass white dump truck right here, fucking Chevy. You fucking Chevy motherfucking Chevy. And that's the problem. You behind slow motherfuckers like this and it's like, man, your fucking life is fucked. You know what? I'm gonna get off on grand. Fuck this shit. Because I'm not sitting behind no slow fucking trucks, man. I can't do that shit. These motherfuckers can't drive on the highway. And it's like, dude, y'all gotta get the fuck off. Like, get on city streets if you're gonna go slow on the fucking highway. Just get on city streets. Shit don't make no fucking sense. We're on the expressway, which means we gotta fucking move. And these motherfuckers make me wanna take the city streets. Because I'm like, dude, I can go faster on the city streets than you motherfuckers go on the highway. God damn. I'll beat you motherfuckers there. And I took the goddamn streets fucking with lights and shit. They're like, damn, how'd you beat us here? Because you a slow driving motherfucker. That's why. It's like, it ain't got shit to do with like speeding. I don't even speed that much. But the fact that these motherfuckers on the highway going like 50 miles an hour and it's 75 is the fucking speed limit. What are you doing, man? 
shit irritates me, man. Irritates me to no fucking. And I don't know if these motherfuckers are drunk or what. If I was a cop, I would be giving tickets to all these motherfuckers that are driving slow on the highway. Cause I'm like, what's wrong with you? Are you on opioids, motherfucker? You on depressants? What the fuck is your deal? Are you under the DUI? Are you under the DUI, motherfucker? You under the DUI? Fuck, fuck having a DUI. You under the DUI? Are you under the DUI, motherfucker? Barney Fife looking ass motherfucker. Are you on the interweb under the DUI? You're under the DUI. And here we go again, a motherfucking red light. I don't know where, but it's cool though. Oh, cause his ass, he, he just fucked up. This dude, he was trying to turn, but he fucked up and he had to back up a little bit. That's what he did. I see you, dog. I see you, dog. It's like, don't worry about it. Let's go down here and get this motherfucker $12. If I can make it. I bet I'm going to get real close to that motherfucker and they're going to yank that fucking surge. Or they're going to give me like $6. They're going to be like, give him six. Fuck the shit. Give him six. Fuck the shits. Give him six. That's what these motherfuckers at Uber be chanting and, and chanting and shit in their little meeting rooms. Fuck the shit, give him six. Fuck the shits, give him six, motherfucker. Chanting and shit. Fuck the break, get the cake. That's what we shouting and shit in our break room. Fuck the break, get the cake. All right, let's get this motherfucker and see what we can do. Bam. Fuck the shit, give him six. 825. Fuck the cake, give him eight. Where do we at? We gotta be more than that. I'm right in the middle of this fucking hot ass shit and these motherfuckers don't wanna give me no good money. $13, bam, we got it. Fuck the break, get the cake. All right, now that we got this, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna sit, hang the fuck out, wait for a short ass ride? Cause you know they ain't giving me shit right now. And the further I go south, the worse this shit's gonna get. So I need to see what this street is and start heading back towards uh, what is this? Buckeye? Oh, yeah, I'm doing a fucking U-turn. Fuck this shit. Because this is getting to the middle of nowhere. $22 for that? What? Fuck no. $22 for 24 miles. 24 miles. And I got a $13 motherfucking surge. $22 for 24 miles. And I have a $13 surge. Listen to what I'm telling you. $22. I have a $13 surge. And that's 24 miles. That means they're paying me nine fucking dollars or 10 fuck. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Fuck these motherfuckers, man. They out there goddamn mind. Man, y'all saw that shit. These motherfuckers did that shit on purpose, man. Fuck that. They did that shit on purpose just to take my fucking surge. Those raggedy motherfuckers did that just to take away my surge. They don't give me $16 for that. 22 fucking dollars. I'm like 22 motherfucking dollars. 22 fucking dollars. I had a $13 surge and they were making me drive 24 miles. $22 for 24 miles. Man, fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck these motherfuckers, man. I'm done with Uber for the night. Fuck them. $22. 24 mile drive, but I had a $13 surge on there. That means they was trying to charge me 10. They were going to pay me 10 fucking dollars to drive 24 miles. They were paying me $10 to go 24 fucking miles. Then they said, well, since you got a $13 surge on it, we'll make it $23. You raggedy motherfuckers. You raggedy motherfuckers. Man, I swear. I can't stand when they pull shit like that. Because that shit is not fucking cool, man. That shit is not fucking cool. You don't do people like that. Sit them on a motherfucking $13 surge. Then be like, well, actually, we're going to sit you on a $13 surge, but we're going to pay you $23. It was $22.94. We're going to give you $23 to drive 24 miles, but you have a $13 surge in that. So you're paying me $10 fucking dollars to drive 24 miles is what you're telling me. That ain't even 50 cent a fucking mile. That's not even 50 cent a fucking mile. 24 miles for $10 is not 50 cent a mile. $12 is 50 cent a mile. 12, so you're paying me under 50 cent a mile, like 40 fucking cent. You pay me like 40 fucking cents a mile, basically. 40 cents a mile to do that fucking trip, but saying, oh, we're gonna give you a $13 surge. You can keep that motherfucking $13, keep your motherfucking app for the rest of the night, fuck you and your reservations, all of that shit. 
you raggedy motherfuckers. You don't do people like that. You don't fucking do people like that. Man, I can't stand these motherfuckers, man, because that shit right there is bullshit. And there is nothing against it that we can say about that. That should have been a dollar a mile trip. $24, add $13, make that a $37 fucking trip. That was a $37 fucking trip. $37. And they said, no, we're going to give you $24 for 24 miles, even though you got a fucking $13 surge. You rotten motherfuckers. Man, I swear, I, that shit burns my ass because these motherfuckers who start the algorithm, they fuck with the rates. They're purposely fucking with the rates. That's why I only do short fucking trips. Because it's hard for them to fuck with the rates if I only do short trips. That's why I was waiting on you. Yeah, give me something like three, four fucking miles. Give me that. Three, four fucking miles. Even if you made the trip $3, I'd get $16 with the surge. But when you give me a long motherfucking nature hike, you're going to give me a fucking nature hike. But then you're going to say, well, we're going to pay you 40 cent a fucking mile for this. But we're going to give you a $13 surge on top of this 40 cent a mile fucking ride. When I'm getting $4 a mile. $5 a mile, $3 a mile, $8 a mile. We're going to give you 40 cents a fucking mile. You raggedy motherfuckers. I'm not taking no 40 cents a mile. Fuck you and your surge and your app and every goddamn reservation you got coming out tonight. I ain't turning that shit back on. I might not turn that motherfucker on all weekend. That's how fucking hot that shit got me. Went down there and got that motherfucking surge and they saw me get that bitch and they was like, oh fuck, he got it. This motherfucker got it. Well, give him a 40 cent a mile fucking ride. Not even a dollar a mile ride. Give him a 40 cent a mile fucking ride. Fuck these motherfuckers, man. That shit fucking burns my ass up. Oh shit, a cat. Get back. No fucking cat gonna get run the fuck over. Yeah. Man, that shit burns me the fuck up. <sighs> I swear, man, I swear. That's why I can't even fuck with these people, man. That's why I tell... When I be saying fuck these apps, y'all think I be bullshit, man. I be dead serious about this shit when I say fuck these apps. Because they some raggedy motherfuckers doing this shit on purpose, man. They fucking with people on purpose. Got us out here getting... I will never, ever chase another motherfucking Uber surge ever. You know why? Because that's the shit they pull. The surge ain't worth shit because the trips ain't worth shit. How you gonna have me go 24 fucking miles... 24 fucking miles for 23 fucking dollars when I'm sitting on a $13 surge. That shit, that's a dollar less per mile. I'm not even making a dollar per mile with a fucking $13 surge on that bitch. I'm not even making a dollar per, that was a 24 fucking miles worth of driving for $23 worth of pay. And I'm sitting on a motherfucking $13 surge. That shit burns my ass because the numbers don't add up. I tell motherfuckers all the time, I'm an accountant. Numbers don't lie. You can't fuck with, you can say whatever the fuck it is you want to say. But if you put numbers in front of a motherfucker, them numbers ain't going to lie. Them numbers are going to tell you what's really real. You can say, oh, well, we care. We give a fuck. We like you. 40 cents a fucking mile. Fuck you. We respect you drivers. We appreciate you drivers. We're concerned with you drivers. Here's $5 bonus for the next 50 rides you take. Man, fuck you. The numbers don't lie. If the numbers don't make fucking sense, I'm not fucking with it. That's how I roll. Any motherfucker that worked in finance or accounting knows that. Business is business. Fuck the personal aspect of it. If the business don't come first, fuck the rest of it. Because if it's bad business, I'm not fucking with it. Fuck how I feel. I even tell myself, Jeff, fuck your feelings. I tell myself that shit. Because it's not about how I feel. It's about how much money you're going to make with the decisions you make. Fuck how you feel. And shit like that? Nah, fuck that. Nope, nope. I ain't fucking with it. I'd rather go in this motherfucking run lift for a little bit. I got a goddamn surge. Let's, let's run this shit on lift for a minute. Fuck these raggedy motherfuckers on Uber. They can kiss my ass. I'm not turning them motherfuckers back on all weekend. I don't give a fuck if they put, put it on. Let me turn it. this ride filter off. Hold up. Wait a minute. One available ride on the map. Mm, let's see what that says. No, I'm not doing no fucking 11 miles. Nope. How can I get rid of that fucking map? $13. Nope. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Shit, that's better paid than goddamn UberX because they giving me at least $13 for 24 miles. 
Uber was giving me $10 for 24 miles. I'm saying, but we're going to give you a $13 surge to make it $23 for 24 miles. At least these motherfuckers give me $13 for 24 miles. Shit. Uber, $10 for 24 miles. We give you 10 bucks, but we're going to give you a $13 surge. Don't worry. We got you covered. No, fuck that. Cover your fucking self, you raggedy bastards. Fuck these people, man. For real. Play that fucking shit. I got to get rid of this goddamn fucking shit right here. Yeah, let me go in here. Let's turn this off, remove the filter, and start declining the shit out of a lot of fucking rides. Fuck. Man. That shit just burns my ass. Burns my ass to no fucking end. Decline. $9 for 13 miles. Decline. Motherfucker, I'm on a declining spree right now. $13 motherfucking surge. $23 for... 36 miles. Shit. Fuck that shit. $23 for 36 miles? No. Doubt it. That's some UberX looking shit right about now. Like I said, I, I'm not even, you know, a person that, that gets upset about surges and shit. But when you make it so egregious that you're fucking over a driver, when you make it so apparent and blatant that you're fucking over a driver, you can't help but speak on it. You can't help but speak on it. You can't even ignore that shit and go, oh, man, I missed that. No, then I missed that. Y'all trying to fuck me over. 23 fucking dollars for 24 miles total driving, and I have a $13 fucking surge? You raggedy bass. That's a $37 fucking trip. Minimum $37 trip. Minimum $37 trip. And you motherfuckers going to try to cut me at a half price deal? We're going to give you a 40 cents a mile. Fuck you. Fuck you. And that's the kind of shit that these motherfuckers want to bank on these high AR drivers. Oh, my God. I'm going to get $23. I'm going to use this $13 search. You know what? Fuck that $13 search. I'm not that fucking desperate to let a motherfucker give me a fucking shit sandwich. Hey, at least you're eating. Motherfucker, is shit on this sandwich. There's doodoo in this motherfucker. It's dog, but it's food, though. It's reprocessed food, but it's still food. It was food that your body couldn't use, so you shit it out. And we chose to make a sandwich with it. Man, fuck that shit sandwich. I don't eat shit sandwiches. But at least it's, it's nutrition in there somewhere. It'll fill you up. Man, fuck that. You don't give somebody a bullshit motherfucking ride with a $13 surge and call it a good ride. It's a bad ride, and I don't take bad rides like that. You feed motherfucker shit sandwiches. You want to eat this? We put mustard on it. It's a shit sandwich. There's dog doodle on this motherfucker. We put a little mustard on it. We put some cheese on top and there's some lettuce in there. It's a shit sandwich. No matter how you try to fucking spread it. It's a shit sandwich. I'm not eating that shit. Yeah, it's about almost three o'clock in the morning. So I think I'm going to call it a fucking night. You know, where I'm at. So I was out for a couple of hours on um, Lyft. And within about 12 hours, I made the 527. Like I said, two hours, 45 minutes. I was scouting mainly, driving around. So I probably drove maybe two hours on them motherfuckers. Made like 40 bucks an hour, potentially. Who knows? You know, Uber, I did approximately, these motherfuckers even open. They ragged ass. They, they ain't paying no surge, so their app don't work no more. I made that 77 bucks. Fucking around with them for about two hours about the same about two hours 45 minutes just about probably drove for a couple hours on them probably made about 30 to 35 an hour on them because i don't know that whole fucking that shit pissed me off that shit done pissed me the fuck off and it's three o'clock in the fucking morning right now so i'm like i'll probably just call this shit good tonight i just cashed out you know 78 bucks i made with them today. i just cashed that shit out because i'm not fucking with them man i just cashed that shit out I think I'm done with UberX for the whole fucking weekend after that shit. I mean, they played me like that. Fuck them. You know, you don't do me like that. Then expect me to contract with you and work with you. When I'm sitting on that $13 fucking surge, you're going to pull some shit like that on me. I'm cool. I'm cool on that shit. I don't fuck with you no more. Like I said, I'll take the weekend off of UberX. I'll fuck with them next week. But this is going to be a left weekend. I'm going to try to do the best I can. I don't give a fuck what the surge is on Uber. Don't give a fuck what the surge is because they just showed me that they don't give a fuck what I do. I drove down there, got a good surge, was doing shit, and those raggedy motherfuckers got the nerve, the nerve to pay me 40 cent a fucking mile, trying to send me on a fucking nature hike, 24 fucking mile nature hike for 23 fucking dollars as I'm sitting on a fucking surge. 
I don't think I ever seen shit like that in my life. That is the most egregious slap in the fucking face I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen some horrible fucking shit on these apps. Seen some horrible shit. But usually for a 24 mile fucking ride total, I mean, you're going to at least pay me like $18. At least pay me $14, something like that. You don't pay nobody 10 fucking dollars for 24 miles of driving. You don't do that. $10 for 24 miles of driving and then say, hey, but we're going to give you a $13 surge to make it $23 for 24 miles of driving. No, fuck that. That's even worse. It's not even a dollar. That, that's even a bigger insult to do that shit. A bigger insult. It's not even a dollar a mile after surge. Man, that, that's a fucking insult. And it's not like the surge was a little surge. It wasn't like, you know, a $5 surge. Hey, we're going to give you a $5 surge so you can get $23 for a 24 mile. No, it wasn't that. It was a $13 fucking surge. This was a big chunk of fucking money. A big chunk of fucking money. And for you to sit up there and say, even though I'm going to give you this big ass chunk of fucking money, I'm going to pay you the shittiest fare I think I can even offer any driver on the market right now. I'm going to pay you 40 cents a fucking mile Friday night. 2.30 in the fucking morning doing crazy ass game day, busy ass club traffic. I'm going to pay you 40 cents a fucking mile. How do you feel about that? I feel like, fuck you. That's how I feel about that. Fuck you. I, that's how exactly how I feel. Fuck you. And your goddamn surge. And any motherfucking reservations you got. People need to get to the airport in the morning. And if riders want to know why drivers ain't ever around, now you know why. Now you know why when you paying these motherfuckers for reservations, when you paying these motherfuckers to get picked up, why ain't no drivers out there with nice cars and all this shit trying to pick y'all up? It ain't got shit to do with y'all. This ain't got nothing to do with y'all riders. It's got to do with these shitty, raggedy-ass motherfucking apps trying to hustle fucking people on late nights, Friday nights, club traffic, surge traffic, busy times, long trips. And they're like, oh, yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to get this person to pay us about $70 to go 24 miles, $70, and we're going to give Jeff $23, even though he got a $13 fucking surge. So charge this motherfucker $70 to get home, give Jeff $23, and we keep $47. Check that shit out. Yeah, not me, motherfucker. Decline, cancel, out. I don't fuck around with that shit.